Welcome, I'm Bailey and I'm Andrew and these are your weekly announcements. First off, a special announcement from Principal Donnelly. Hey SHS! Big announcement here from Principal Donnelly. Couple things we need to talk about. Number one, do you realize there's only 18 days left in semester one? 18 days! Semester one is done January 10th. So at this point, you need to be kicking in in a high gear and be on high alert regarding where your grades are sitting right now and any missing work. And let's talk about missing work for just a minute, shall we? Yes, we shall. So, there's this weird misconception from some students that I've heard that we don't have deadlines at the high school. Guess what? That's not a thing. Oh, we have deadlines. The deadlines are when your teacher says an assignment is due. And please understand that if you don't turn something in on the due date, that work isn't going away. We're not giving you a zero and just letting you off the hook of not having to do the work. Oh, you'll do the work. And most of the time it's more work than if you just did it the first time and met the deadline. I bring this up because I know many students in the building are still missing work from November, October, September. You don't have a lot of time to be able to get that work in so your teachers can validate your learning. With that said, January 10th, end of semester one, Teachers are not obligated to accept your missing work all the way up until January 10th. Your teachers will be giving you a drop dead date of any missing work in terms of when that can be turned in and that is the final deal. So at this point, get moving, get grooving, let's finish the semester strong. Thank you SHS. Thanks Donnelly. And now let's check in with Devin and Brandon with our counselors. Brandon, come in here. We got to take a look at your schedule. As you can see, it's a little bit complicated to look at right now. We have to make sure that we have enough classes and not too much flex, okay? So let's start working on this schedule. All right. Okay. SHS, guess what? It is time for your counselors to start working on your semester two schedule. You may be called down to our office in the next couple weeks if we have questions about your electives or if we need some help from you on your schedule. So please email your counselor, either Miss Evenson or Miss Colleen or Miss Bignell or Miss Wink if you have any schedule changes that you would like to do. And definitely do not hesitate to let us know if you have some changes from the classes that you requested last year. All schedules are hopefully going to be done before winter break so that when we come back in January, you can finish semester one on a strong note and not have to worry about schedule changes. As always, feel free to email us or stop in to see us and we'll make sure that your schedule is just how you want it. Thanks team, bye. Thank you, counselors. Now on to sports. Over to Gracie with girls basketball. Girls varsity basketball, how was the game on Tuesday? Tuesday we traveled to Mondovi, but we lost by two. Um, we played really hard. We just got to clean up our mistakes and just played better. And you can see us play better tonight at 7.15, home against New Richmond. It is wide out. We hope to see you there. Summers High School, I'm here with Jackson Cook and Trey Krybeck, and we're going to talk about their basketball season so far. So, Jack, how'd you guys' game go last night? Um... We, uh, we beat them pretty bad. They scored 36 points. We scored 69 points. Nice. All right, Thanks. congratulations. And Trey, what is your guys' matchups looking like next week? Um, we're in Baldwin on Tuesday, and we got Amory in Amory on Thursday. All right, thank you guys. Hi guys, we are here with the girls hockey team, Emma and Aaron. All right, Aaron, how did your three games go this weekend? <laughs> we lost to Fusion 4-1, and then we lost to Bay Area 4-3, and then we beat Black River Falls 5-1. That's pretty cool. Good job. Uh, Emma, what was your favorite memory from the game? I got hit with a puck in the hand and messed up my knuckles. All right, when are your guys' up next upcoming games? We play Hudson at home on Thursday, so be there. Hey guys, Tate here with uh, Ryan and Antonio from the Somerset Hockey Team. Hey, how'd you guys' game go on Tuesday? Uh, we had a really good first period, got off to a hot start, scored the first goal, came out of the first period up one nothing, but then in the second period, got a little out of hand, took a couple penalties that we probably shouldn't have. Yeah, our bench was not the best on Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, a lot of miss words were said on the bench to each other. Alright, uh, when's your guys' next game? 
uh, today in Chisago at 7. All right, sounds good. Good luck. See you guys there. Hi, guys. I'm here with two guys from the Somerset wrestling team, Zach and Tyler, and they had a meet last night. And Tyler, how would you do? I pinned my kid in the first period. And Zach, how about you? Uh, one by one in the third period. Nice, nice job, guys. And how do you guys think your team did overall? Uh, well, we lost the duel 30 to 36. There's a couple key matches there that could have ended up different, and maybe the ref could be to blame, but that's not how we're going to look at it. We're just going to keep getting better, keep working on it. That's what I like to hear. How about you, Zach? What? Yeah, I think we did good. We fought as a team, and that's kind of what we went out there to do, and so I think we did good overall. And uh, one more question for you guys. How tough do you guys think the conference will be this year, and how do you think you guys will do in the conference? Well, the conference is going to be tough because almost every team but us has a full roster. So if we're not able to put out at least one guy at every weight class, we're already at a huge disadvantage. Plus a ton of our guys, no offense to you guys, I love you all. We're super inexperienced, so we got a lot of learning to do. Hard work, the Somerset way. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Next up, mock trial. There's a mock trial meeting next Wednesday, December 11th, in Mr. Schultz's room. So if you're interested in being in mock trial and hanging out with Mr. Schultz for an hour, come to the meeting next Wednesday. Finally, our weekly special. I think the Squatch is up north. The Squatch is always on the south side. Oh, oh. The tracks face north when I checked last. Guys. Well, your eyes are crooked. Guys. I'm Bobo. And I'm Roro. And this is the Squatch Watch. We got a call on our Squatch phone yesterday about a Squatch running through the woods up at Somerset High School. We're about to go check things out. Right, Roro? Yeah, Bobo. All right, then. You see this trail leading up the hill right here? Yeah. You see that red flag? That's a red flag. Hey, Roro, check this out. What do you think it is? Well, it looks to me like a big old Squatch who's bedding down here. This is a Squatch hare. Female. 52. Aquarius. All right, Roro, let's see what you got. <laughs> One, row, row. I'm really cold and I'm not getting paid anything. Nice work guys. Well that wraps up your weekly announcements. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.